Hello guys, so this is take three. I'm attempting this video again. So if you're all on your Snapchat wondering where on earth is her video, and if you're not on my Snapchat, I literally just announced that I'm going to do a vlog because I've done this makeup and I don't want it to go to waste. And so I thought I'd have a little chat with you guys. Ideally, I would be recording this on my sort of um, my laptop, no, on my camera, which I have right here. But no, I'm recording this on my iPhone, so you'll have to just make do. The lighting is a bit shit, but uh, there we have it. Um, so, what can I say? My studio lights are packed away. I cannot be bothered. That's probably not the best attitude to sort of go with. Um, but anyway, so I just thought I'd have a little chat about life uh, while I'm sort of just, you know, relaxing on my chair, moving side to side. Um, so the thing is... I've just realised it's like, what is it, nine o'clock? I don't know what time it is, but I think it's about nine o'clock in the night. And you know what, it's Sunday. I know, it's Sunday. And the entire weekend is, is gone. And I feel like I haven't done anything. And I'm just, I'm like, I don't want the weekend to be over. I need a few more days before I have to get back to work. I mean, it's just ridiculous. What did I do? Friday I went out. I went out in the evening, so I went to Mango Tree. I thought it was going to be amazing, but the food was good, but I wasn't blown away by it. And I just, you know, everyone just goes on about it. And maybe I, maybe I set my expectations too high. I don't know. Or maybe I was just sort of like tired from work or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to go again. Um, so yeah, so that was a bit interesting. Then Saturday, what did I do on Saturday? Oh, Saturday. Do you want to hear what happens in in the life of Aisha Paracha? Well, what did I do? I woke up pretty late because, you know, I'm entitled to sleep in. Or what do you call them? Lion, that's it. I'm entitled to a lion. So I got up about like 11, 11.30. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to have breakfast. My hair is looking so flat, guys. It's just awful. I hate flat hair. I want lots of volume. Right, so I basically got up, was like, right, I'm not going to have any breakfast, going to go to the gym because I'm back in the gym, my back's slightly better. For those of you who don't know me, I've got a bit of a back issue, chronic back pain, chronic shoulder pain, chronic bone pain. I'm literally 26 and I feel like a bloody invalid or like a granny. And I'm not a granny. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a granny, but I'm not a granny. I'm 26. I want to live my bloody life. I don't want to be freaking paying shitloads of money, go to... To, to a bloody chiropractor all the time and I don't mean to be mean I mean my chiropractor is amazing she's amazing but I've got a kid out 42 pounds every time I go and that's not cheap that's really not cheap um and and I there's nothing I can do so anyway back back sort of Shabil aside back in the gym um and so I was like you know I'm dedicated I'm gonna lose this weight went into the gym Lo and behold, was 10 minutes into my workout, my phone rings. I'm like, no, I've got to take this call. Sitting there chatting on the phone for a good half an hour in the gym. Can you believe that? And then I, then I refused to go back and finish my workout. So I thought, you know what? I've got my swimsuit on me. I'll go for a swim. So I got in my swimsuit, went for a half an hour swim, which was good. Went in the sauna, relaxed a bit. I hadn't been in the sauna for a very long time. So it was quite nice, actually. Just sort of just sat there, relaxed, soaked in the heat should we say and then I was like right let me just go home I'm gonna go straight to Sainsbury's buy some bread buy some smoked salmon get some avocado I'm gonna go home I'm gonna have like I'm gonna have my favorite breakfast which is literally like toast and it can't just be any bread it's got to be like bakery bread okay I, I love bakery bread so I got some bakery bread um some wholemeal rye and um uh, fry an egg and when I fry an egg, I don't fry it in lots of oil. I, I, I sort of steam it in a way. Like, sort of put it in the pan uh, with a little bit of oil. And literally, once the white's sort of cooked halfway, I literally throw in, like, a little bit of water and put a lid on it. So it's not greasy and it's not like a fry-up, basically. So I had, like, an egg, smoked salmon, avocado. Just love, love that. So, um, yeah, so I had that. So I wanted to have that. 
But then I went, started walking around, went into boots, bought a couple of things, don't ask me why, spent ages in there. And by the time I knew it, it was like five o'clock, four o'clock. I got home at like 4.30. So that was interesting. And then today I literally just sat at home. Yeah, sat at home and watched Code Black. It's quite interesting. I feel like they tried to copy Grey's Anatomy though. And it was a bit shit, like, you know, I kind of feel like they tried to match some of the characters to Grey's Anatomy. And you know what? Grey's Anatomy is Grey's Anatomy. You can't try and make something else and try and sort of have a similar theme line. And the thing is, you know what? I don't know if they recorded in a real hospital. I feel like they did record in a real hospital and not on set because, I mean, that hospital just looked like shit. Like, seriously, the doors were like... It looked like it needed to be bloody renovated. And I'm thinking, if you have 300 code blacks in that hospital then why haven't you invested money in this place? Like, you know? And it just looked like it was all understaffed and, like, people are dying and they couldn't give enough... Like, you know, if someone came in, with, you know, dying and somebody else was dying and they had to decide, well, actually, who needs it more? And then somebody else would, you know, go into surgery and while the other one died because he didn't need it that... Like, you know, he didn't need it. He could wait five minutes, but then this guy needed an hour in, in surgery. So I felt like, how does that even make sense? That's just shit. You can't take that many patients, you know. I don't know. I think, I mean, there's a lot of contradictory points. In I mean, I get that it's supposed to be like a code. Like I get what they mean by code black, but honestly, you cannot be, you cannot be throwing code black out there and just, you know, deciding who gets to live or not. Do not take on that many patients. But you know what? I don't live in America, so I don't know these things. You know, I, yeah, there'll probably be a lot of you out there who have an opinion on this. But you know what? This is my opinion. And it's just drama, so back off. Right, so, yeah, so it's Sunday evening now and I, I don't fancy working. I fucked up my diet, excuse the language, but, yeah. So what now? Shall we talk about all the mascaras that I've been buying lately? Yeah, we'll talk about mascaras. Right, so let me just grab them. So, at the moment... Do you want to know how many mascaras I have? I have like six mascaras. Is that ridiculous? Yeah, it's ridiculous. So three of them are actually mini minis, like travel minis or like gift bag sizes of high-end mascaras, which I have had before. Like I have had full, like full sizes of these um, because I don't know if any of you know, but I used to work for Clinique, so I got a hefty discount. Those are the good days. Um, but these are the little ones that would come in the gift sets and I just had a shitload of these. Um, so yeah, so here we go. They got, they're upside down, I don't care. Um, so we've got the Estee Lauder one here. This is the Voluptuous Bold, well, I don't know what it's called, Sumptuous. The other one is the Clinique High Impact. And this bottom one here, which I've just started using, is the Be Long Mascara by Clarins. It's actually quite cool. And although it says Be Long, I find that it's really volumising, which I love. Like, it gives a lot of volume at the root. I love that. I don't know if it's because I've had it for so long that it's now just clumpy. Who knows? Um, really good mascaras. I love all three of these. I would repurchase these if I was rich, but I'm not rich anymore. And I'm, I'm, I, I work a 9 to 5 job. A bog standard job that doesn't pay me a lot so yeah so i have been on the hunt to find a good mascara and the journey started about two months ago when i bought this max factor 200 2000 calorie dramatic mascara this one here um this just looks like your bog standard mascara and by the way did i mention the drugstore's become so expensive like super drug and booze so so expensive so anyway so this is the mascara it's got a basic wand. That's a bit bent, but that's my fault. And oh, it's, do you know what? It says two thousand calories, dramatic volume. It took me. It takes me forever to get volume, and I don't know if that's because I've got a lot of lashes, but I just really, really didn't like this mascara. I just I felt like I was using this forever trying to get volume, um, and it just oh, there's just nothing there. It didn't blow me away. Um, then the other one that I got. Was the Mega Volume Waterproof Miss Hippie from L'Oreal. Right? The reason why I got waterproof was because... I've had the Volume Million Lashes, which is a great mascara. But the only problem with that one was I found that it, it would crumble and flake under my eyes. So I literally had loads of black crumbly bits. So I thought, well, if I go for waterproof, 
then it might be better. And it said mega volume. I mean, I think it did give me mega volume. I don't know. I didn't particularly love the brush, by the way. But it is bloody hard to get off. And I wish I never bought a waterproof formula. I wish I just bought the normal formula. But you know what? One always needs a waterproof mascara, so this will be mine. And at least I know it's not crap. Um, the next one that I bought was the Max Factor Voluptuous False Lash Effects. Now, this was on recommendation of the lady at the counter. And I said to her, all I, all I care about is lots of volume. And she gave me this mascara. Now, I do not feel like this mascara gives me lots of volume. It gives some volume, but not a lot. I feel like it gives more separation. Look at that brush. It's just freaking huge. Like, I felt like this was going to kill me. Like, it is massive. Um, and I've got long lashes and I've got big eyes. So just imagine those people that out there who've got smaller eyes. Um, although having said that, when I wore this mascara, I did get a lot of compliments. Like a lot of people were like, what mascara is that? What are you wearing? Your lashes look amazing. So, you know, I did get a lot of compliments. I don't know if I'd repurchase. I just didn't like the brush and I, I'm not loving the formula. The other one, um, and I've used this previously, um, is Voluminous Extra Black by L'Oreal. Now, this mascara is very similar to my beloved High Impact. Um, love it. The brush is exactly the same. The only thing is it's just a cheaper quality brush. So I can I can feel it when I'm putting it on that the brush is probably made from slightly cheaper sort of product or whatever it is that they use to make these uh, things. But I can live with that, you know. Um, so apart from... So this is the one that I will be sticking with. So I don't know. God knows how many mascaras later I managed to get to the right one. But that's my life, guys. That's that's the shit that I go through, deciding what mascaras that I'm going to wear. So, yeah. So, I hope this was an interesting chat for you. I have nothing more to say, except that I'm going to have to wake up in the next few hours and go to work and put on a smile and look like I love my job. I mean, you know, it's just a job. It pays my bills. I wish I had something more creative in life to do. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too boring and I might do one again tomorrow. Who knows? I mean, if you guys like this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up because if you give it a thumbs up, then it probably means that I do another one. And you know what? If I get 100 subscribers, I'll tell you what. If I get 100 subscribers, then I'm going to do a giveaway. Yeah, I don't know what the giveaway is going to be, so maybe you guys can give me suggestions below of what you would like. And I will pick a person at random who has commented, by the way, who has subscribed and commented, and I will do a giveaway. And it won't be some shitty giveaway, don't you worry. I will make sure I do a pretty cool giveaway. I mean, it won't be anything that's like hundreds and hundreds of pounds, but it will be a good and decent giveaway. So, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let me know what else you'd like to see, guys. Bye-bye.